Today, we're tackling a topic that might raise a few eyebrows. Why you should think twice before hitting that update now button on your system. I know updates are supposed to make everything better, right? Well, hold on to your keyboards, because we're about to uncover the not-so-sunny side of system updates. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our tech insights. When you buy a smartphone, be it Android or Apple, you'll probably search on YouTube or research a little bit on the internet before buying. You'll probably check the battery review, the software experience, the hardware experience, and all the other things about the smartphone. Some people skip the review and research part and just buy the latest iPhone for their brand value, which is all right. Smartphone companies will try to give their best when they release a new model of the smartphone so they can sell it in large numbers. Till now it's okay, but then, updates will come for your phone, and then the issues will start to come. Most of the time the issues are not visible right away. Battery drains, application crashes, addition of bloatwares, removal of useful features, these are the common issues which comes with those updates. Recently a green line bug on the display affected many phones. It's not from a single manufacturer. From iPhone to OnePlus to Samsung, many phones were affected with this bug. And when you take your smartphone to the service center, they'll say the display needs to be replaced. There are other instances also. Few years back, Apple pushed a software update which slowed down iPhones. Apple said it's for saving battery life they did it. They slowed down your phone without your consent. But the scenario is not sane for Android phones. Apple releases beta updates before making it public. But Android smartphones most of the time gets half-baked updates which were not tested properly. Your device might be targeted for planned obsolation by your phone manufacturer. Who knows? I'm not saying all updates are bad. But it's better not to update right away when it releases. Better to check the internet for reviews with that version. There might be more battery drains or performance loss or something else happening for other users. If you find the updates are not worth it or having problems, do not update your phone. It's better to be safe than having a dead phone killed by an update. Same principle applies for your laptop or desktop. First, let's look into Linux updates. Linux is smarter than other operating system in this matter because it's all in user's control. And intermediate Linux users knows very well what to do in case of updates. For beginner users, if you are using Debian or Debian-based distros, most of the time you do not need to worry because Debian will be having stable updates. Packages might be a little older, but it will be stable. But still, it's better to use a backup software like Timeshift before downloading any large update, so you can be sure that you can revert the update anytime within seconds if you want. For beginner users who is using Arch-based distro, it's better not to update daily. The latest and greatest packages might contain unknown bugs which can create problems. If you want a somewhat stable system, it's better to check the change logs for update and take a little time before updating, maybe once in a week or once in two weeks. It's better not to skip updates totally because if you update your system after a long period of time, you might face compatibility issues. So it's better to update regularly, but not too soon. For Windows users, check your update list before you update anything. It's better to check for only security updates regularly and research a little bit before you download feature updates. Because feature updates will change many things in your system, from menu items to taskbar, or even the full experience can be changed. But it's better not to miss any security updates because Windows is targeted for virus attacks every day, and it's better to be safe. For Mac users, there is not much choice to select particular updates. But it's better to skip beta updates and get stable updates only if you're not experimenting with your system. Microsoft has been kinda naughty with their updates. They got into trouble for forcefully updating computers from older versions like Windows 7 and Vista to Windows 10 without asking first. It caused a big fuss, and they even had to pay $10,000 to a person whose business got messed up because of this surprise update. iOS and Mac devices take a gentler approach to system updates. However, Apple has its own set of issues with user experience design. Whenever there's a new update, you get bombarded with pop-up messages that just won't quit, and sadly, there's no way to shut them off. What's more, iOS devices sometimes use tricky pop-ups that kind of force you into updating, which can be a bit misleading. 
Do not hit the download button as soon as the update pop-up comes to your system. To ensure effective software update, you should take some precautions. First step is plan. Ask yourself these questions first. If you do not know the answer, open your search engine and do a little bit of research about the update. What does this update contain? Is it a major change with new features or just a few minor fixes? Do I need to update right now? If the contents don't affect me, can I wait until next time? Who does this update affect? For example, is it the users who is getting the benefit or it's the software company added some new policy that's why you need to update? Second step is the testing. If you are updating your production system, it's better to try out the same update on your other testing system before updating your main system. Not everybody has two systems. In that case, make sure to do a full system backup beforehand. Third step is update. Now it's time to update your system. Better to update your system when you have enough time to fix the issues if something breaks after the updates. Otherwise, you'll discover the bugs during your work. And make sure to charge your device before starting the update. Fourth step is monitoring. After you've done with your updates, better to monitor it by doing the most common tasks you do every day, like checking the video calling, printer, and other hardware peripherals. If you're a gamer, you should research a bit before you upgrade your graphics driver, because some games might not work with the latest driver. For example, Starfield had problem with NVIDIA driver version 535 on Linux. The game will not even launch. But on driver version 525, the game worked. So, it's better to check for compatibility issues before you hit update. That's it for today. If you like the content, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more contents like this in future. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, stay strong.